What's up my dudes, Valk here. Today I'm going to be talking about Zoneless or Zinless Zone Zero. I always get the name wrong. Zinless Zone Zero because the beta just happened. I'm not participating in the beta, but I want to talk about it because I know a lot of us were thinking it could be a lot like Genshin with guns, and I know that prospect was very exciting for a lot of people. So I do want to talk about it here. We're on uh, Ruben925's channel where he has about a two hour gameplay. If you just want to watch raw gameplay like I did, what I was looking for, of Zinless Zone Zero, and so you can get a good idea of it. The game is a lot more like Honkai than any anything else. It's not really like Genshin at all. And I know that's going to make some people sad, some people happy, uh, but it's not going to be like Genshin at all. Let me turn the volume way down. Um, but if we go through, we watch, you can see where they have all this cool stuff. I guess that's, that's like buffs going on. But there's not really any exploration to the game. It's mostly you load up the levels. And then you go through the levels and you get scored. Very Devil May Cry feeling to it. It's a lot like Honkai. Um, very, very similar to Honkai. It shares so much more in common with Honkai than it does Genshin. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's going to be cool in its own aspect. And I might give it a shot whenever the full game releases. But unfortunately, I'm looking for more games like Genshin rather than Honkai. I'm not really the biggest fan of Honkai. I want a lot more games like Genshin. Um, like Tower of Fantasy, I know, comes out very soon. I might make some videos on that. But as for Zinla Zone Zero, I don't think I'm going to be covering this game because it's just. It looks really pretty. Looks really cool. It's just not my cup of tea. Um, I'm not really into these games with Genshin. I really like. I love open world, I love like the exploring aspect of it. I love a lot of stuff like that, um, and Genshin's main storyline is very fantastic. They just uh, like to put a ton of dialogue and backstory to each and every character we meet. That part's kind of, uh, <laughs> but the main storyline to Genshin is fantastic. And I'm sure this will have a fantastic main story as well because I feel like Koyo's always done a pretty good damn or pretty damn good job at writing story, but. This type of gameplay and this type of like really gotcha style gameplay where you just load up a level, you let the you beat the level, then you go to the next level, you do it over and over and over. I'm kind of over that because I've been playing gotchas for a very long time and almost every gotcha plays that exact same gameplay loop and I just I kind of don't want to deal with it anymore, which is why I fell in love with Genshin to begin with and one of the reasons Genshin's still one of my favorite gotcha games. Despite what you guys may think <laughs> Genshin's still one of my favorite gacha games because it doesn't follow that status quo. Although the world might be empty in Genshin, it's still a giant massive open world that you can just go around and around in. And that to me is always an exciting prospect because it allows for a lot of opportunity for improvements upon the game itself. So that to me is really exciting and this type of gameplay, this type of style just isn't for me. So don't expect me to be covering uh, Zinless Zone Zero outside of this last video here. I'm probably not going to be covering the game at all just because it's not my style and it's not something I really want to cover and something I really want to talk about. Anyways, other than that, thank you guys for watching as always. Just a quick video about Zealand Zone Zero, my thoughts on it after seeing the beta, and basically just how I want to go about it and if I want to cover it at all. I don't think I'm going to be making videos on it at all. I think I'm going to stick to Genshin, maybe some Tower Fantasy. Definitely going to be covering a lot of weathering ways whenever that game gets ready to come out. Other than that, thank you guys for watching as always. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.